Hey folks, just got home from work. I need to go out and feed the animals, so I'll let you guys tag along. Put my stuff down real quick and let me change hats. Yeah, I wear several hats. This one has the light on it, so we're gonna go out and uh, feed livestock, so let's go. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've got to go up and feed my livestock. First, I've got to get my boots on because it's muddy out here. In fact, we're experiencing a snowstorm. I don't know if it's snowing here right now because I haven't seen yet, but I just got home from a 12 hour shift at work. So I'm going to quickly change my shoes and get my boots on. Yeah, for those of you who are new to the show, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I have a little homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. And I work 12 hour shifts about three days a week at the hospital. Yeah, I go to work in the dark. I come home in the dark this time of year, but I've got to go feed my animals. And for you guys to be able to see, I've got to switch my camera to um, night vision or infrared. So hang on a sec while I change that. Okay, there you go. Now we got night vision. So let's go ahead and go feed the animals. Turn the light on. Okay. Hi, girls. Let me get you some food. You're pregnant, so you get double portion. There you go. Let's get some for the boys, too. We got to feed them. Okay, here we go out to the boys. Let me turn this infrared back on. There we go. Turn the barn light off. And here we go. I don't think I'll edit this for you guys. I think I'll just leave it raw and let you see exactly how long it takes me to do my chores. Hi turkeys, gobble, gobble, gobble. Check your water real quick. Okay, you're gonna need water. And we'll feed, we'll water the rabbits when we get back. We gotta go through here. Uh-oh, I'm dropping my hay bale. It's hard to hold the camera and navigate through the darkness. Yeah, really hard. All right, here we go. Yeah, guys, I hear you. There you are. 
Okay. Okay, here you go. We'll put one portion here and another portion there. Come on, get your face out of the way. <laughs> All right. Now we head back. Make sure I close my gate just in case they get out of the corral and get in the pasture. I had to lock them in the corral because they found a way out and I did fix the fence, but I'm not ready to let them out in the mud right now. Okay, there's the water. And, hi guys. Yeah, I bet you're hungry. Yeah, there you are. Okay, turn that around so I can see. All right, let's get these guys watered. All right, there you go. Yeah, I can't wait till I get my automatic watering system installed. That way, all I have to do is check it weekly to make sure it's functional and really check it daily to make sure they all have a water supply, but it'll be all automatic. That, I've got everything for it right now. I just have to uh, assemble it and put it together. I love these top uh, accessible uh, waterers. They got that special nipple that doesn't leak. And then we'll check on the babies. I have Monday off. I'm producing this on Saturday night. I have to work Sunday. I'll upload this Monday and then we'll uh, go ahead and let you guys see what I got going on Monday Okay, what's going on here? Oh that okay, let's go give the turkeys some fresh water I'll set the camera right here and level it out for you. There we go. All right, guys. You got food. I just need to rinse out your water dish and make sure you guys keep are kept in fresh water. I hate this hose. It kinks. And when I purchased it, it says that it was non-kinkable hose, bad hose. So I'd rather just spend the extra money and get a hose that doesn't kink. Uh, yeah, this is a bad hose. I gotta find the stupid kink. All right. My light's getting dim. I have to take it off and charge it on the USB port. So these are my typical chores in the morning and in the evening. Much better. And I'm, there's no evidence of eggs being laid by these girls yet. 
but I have a goose that was laying eggs over here. I was able to harvest two eggs and then I found a duck egg that was just laying out. So I want to get them because I have a couple of ravens that are taking my eggs. Uh, but they're just eating the goose eggs because they're too big for them to uh, fly away with. So that's one thing. Another thing a homesteader has to be aware of is those thieving ravens. So I set this up and let's hope they're using it. Uh, there's no sign of eggs in there. And then there's been a goose that's been laying eggs over here just laying them i don't see any eggs here well let's see yeah, let's see in here a little bit further nope no eggs okay let's go down to where the igloo is because that's where I have been seeing other eggs. And I don't know if any of them are using that straw under the barn that I put under the barn for them. Uh, just looking around for eggs. There's my ducks. Also taking inventory of my livestock at the same time to make sure they haven't disappeared. Okay, any eggs? Yep, there's a duck egg right there. I'm going to, oh, two duck eggs. Let's collect those before the ravens do. And any goose eggs in here? I don't see any evidence of goose eggs in there. Any goose nests? Because the geese like to make a nest in this brush here. Unless they're getting creative at hiding their nest. All right, no more eggs. I will take you up to the bunny bungalow and show you where I'm storing these other eggs. Okay, get back on the gravel path here so I can walk better. Okay, back in the bunny bungalow. Hi bunnies. And here's my eggs. There's uh, two goose, or no, three goose eggs, and now four duck eggs. Now, I've gotta decide what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, I've got the product to build a super duper incubator with uh, um, automatic egg turners and a fan. And I was gonna turn that old freezer into one, but I need to turn something into one within the next week because it's gonna be interesting getting these ducks. Yeah, my light on my forehead's dead. I'll just push that into the USB charging port. And uh, I watered my plants yesterday. So the greenhouse doesn't need to be watered again today. So I think I water every other day. All right. We're done with the boots. this off take this thing out and uh, there's the little USB port to plug it into a charger so we'll get that charged up through the night and have it fresh for tomorrow when I get home from work yeah I got to work another shift at work so let me change hats here and then I'll go render the video and let you guys see 
what I do on a typical night when I have to do uh, chores in the dark. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put on another hat and also sit down and do my artwork right here at the table also. I'm relaxed after work. Well, get my lavalier mic off. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this little tour. Uh, please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That'll let you to new videos as I do upload them. Uh, you can also please click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out my channel a lot. Hey, give us a thumbs up, like the show, and uh, leave a comment uh, or a tip. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Please be safe and always be kind. All right? Bye-bye now.